We're giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. Good morning, YouTube. It is 2020. First motor vlog of 2020. I want to welcome you back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. I'm Cruise Man, and this is the channel for everything Honda Goldwing. If you love the Goldwing, if you ride a Goldwing, or you just love motorcycling in general, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me today. Got a lot of cool stuff to talk about since it's the start of a new year. First of all, let me fill you in on the weather today. I'm just leaving coffee, my morning coffee. It's about 7.45. My TPMS light is flashing because it's pretty cold out. It's 46 degrees. Wow, one of my tires is at 32 pounds. So that would be my front tire. I have to air that up when I get home. I'm thinking the cold air probably is having a lot to do with it. It's been sitting outside for probably an hour and a half. It was 41 degrees when I left this morning, but my bike was in the garage overnight, so it was kind of warm. So after sitting outside in 45 degree temperatures, I guess the uh, tire pressure dropped a little bit. <clears throat> Anyway, I want to thank all of you for joining me again today. I, uh, we have a survey on my website that many of you have taken the time to fill out. Much appreciated. I'm getting a lot of excellent feedback from that survey. I'm learning a lot, actually, about what you guys like to watch and what you like about the channel, what you don't like about the channel, and just good information in general. I'm also uh, finishing up the review of these uh, Duhon winter rechargeable electric riding gloves. I've been wearing these now for about a week. In fact, I still have the tags on this one. I haven't even taken the tags off. Um, by the time you see this motovlog, the, the review of these gloves should be on the YouTube channel. and. I think uh, these are, uh, this is a product if you ride in cold weather you probably want to check out. Um, if you, you know, need cold weather protection for your hands, especially if you ride something like a snowmobile or even if you just ride a motorcycle in cold weather. Now there's one thing I didn't mention in the review video that I want to add right now that I've just noticed today. Because this is probably the fourth day I've ridden with these gloves. When I turn the gloves on, they start out in the uh, highest temperature mode, which is indicated by the red light on the glove. And I don't know, for some reason, once they warm up, they automatically switch to the middle, middle temperature. Now I can press the button and take them back to the uh, high temperature, but uh, for some reason they don't, once you turn the gloves on, they just kind of default back to the middle temperature range. And maybe that's a good thing, especially for battery life, because the higher the temperature you have these set to, there's three different settings. The higher the temperature, obviously, the lower the battery life. I think they rate them at three and a half to four hours in the highest temperature setting. And I think in the middle temperature setting, they're rated at about four and a half to five hours, something like that. I'll put the chart on the screen so you can see it. So anyway, it was pretty nice when it was 41 degrees this morning to have these uh, warm gloves to put on. I'm also really pleased with this RideWare uh, quick release buckle. And I want to make, make sure you understand, uh, 
Duhan is not sponsoring this video. They sent me these gloves to try out. They're not paying me for this review. I'm just telling you, you know, my thoughts on the product and good or bad. Uh, same thing for the ride wear. In fact, the ride wear I actually purchased on Amazon because my uh, friend and riding buddy Don Smith uh, put one on his G Max helmet and loved it. So I ordered one to put on my HJC helmet. And uh, as you saw in my review video, if you've watched my review of the ride wear uh, quick release buckle, it was a pain in the butt to get on. But once you get it on, it's really nice. I really don't like having to mess with those D-rings to put the strap through. And some of you pointed out in your uh, comments on the video that you have uh, a showy helmet or maybe a Nolan or something that comes with a ratchet style or a quick release. So you don't really need a product like this. Uh, but for some of us that have HJC or G-Max or other helmets that don't come with a quick release, it really is nice to have. So I encourage all of you to check out. I'll put a link in the description of this video for the ride wear on Amazon. And also put a link uh, to Amazon for these Duhan rechargeable electric gloves. I kind of prefer a rechargeable battery glove as opposed to one that plugs into the bike just because just because I don't like the hassle of having to wire something up to the bike if I because I don't ride in cold weather enough to really use it now some of you guys ride in cold weather all the time and you've got gerbings or other heated gear that you wear and you have the gloves that plug into the jacket or the liner and uh, I'm sure that's a better system. I'm sure it's a more elaborate system. Uh, but for someone like me that only, you know, every now and then rides in cold weather, I really don't need something that sophisticated. This is about as cold as I like to ride in. Now, I could do a road trip at 45 degrees. if you know, It's 45 right now. And I could easily go 7, 8 hours at 45 degrees if I needed to. But when it gets down under 40 degrees, yeah, I have to really think twice about that. So if you're like me and you ride in cold weather infrequently or, you know, just depends on your riding situation. I think these heated gloves are pretty nice and they're actually pretty comfortable. Uh, I think they're actually a little more comfortable for me than the uh, Kimimoto gloves that I reviewed. And it's the same company. There's, there's some connection between Kimimoto and Duhan. Um, again, the tac tactile ability of these is not great. You can uh, use it with your cell phone because it's got the little fingertips that are designed to where you can uh, touch screens and things like that, like on my GPS and cell phone. So you can do that. But, uh, you know, I've mentioned it before, I think I mentioned it in my review video, that that's pretty much a common trait of any winter riding glove. They're just not as tactile as other gloves or, or your bare hands, obviously. But these are actually pretty comfortable. I, I, I like them. I think they fit me better than the Kimimoto gloves did. And uh, I'm really kind of surprised at the quality construction they appear to be made pretty well and of course I'll update you as we go through time as I wear these more and more to let you know uh, how well they perform so if you haven't taken my survey yet I'd appreciate it if you go to the link on the screen or in the description of this video and take a moment to fill out the survey we're gonna have a drawing for those of you that take the survey uh, we'll have a drawing at the end of the month, or actually on February 1st. We're giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. We'll also be giving away five SoCal Moto Gear multifunction LED work lights. These are very cool. And we're going to give away 10 Cruise Man's Garage 6 LED pocket lights. So you got 21 chances to win something. 
in our random drawing and we're just going to draw random names make sure when you fill out the survey you give us the correct email address so we can let you know if you win one of those prizes so i'm expecting 2020 to be a very uh exciting year and we're going to have a lot of new videos a lot of motor vlogs i'm pulling into shipley's donuts i'm going to pick up a couple of donuts uh, to take uh, miss ricky she's got her sweet tooth today so we're going to stop grab some donuts and i think we'll just call it a day hey if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below and i will see you next time on cruise man's motor vlogs if you enjoyed this video please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.